Whenever I wear puff sleeve tops, I just feel like I'm ready to go pick some flowers, walk into a field and have a picnic. I'm going to show you how to do three different styles of puff sleeves, one with puff at the top and bottom, one with puff only at the top, and another one that has puff only at the bottom. The method I'm gonna show you today is the same method I learned in fashion science school. So it's a professional pattern making method. For this tutorial, you will need a basic sleeve sloper. That is a straight sleeve with no seam allowance on it. From there, we will manipulate the pattern. I have my basic sleeve sloper. The first step will be to trace the sleeve cap. Measure four inches below the bicep line and mark here. Draw in the lines. Draw in the line where the sleeve will end. Square this down. Squaring means that this is a 90 degree angle. So the side seams aren't like this, they're straight, straight down. From here, we'll be drawing in lines an inch and a half away from the center line. One and a half. Next line, inch and a half. Do this on the other side. inch and a half. Inch and a half. We will be cutting this line, this line, this line, and this line, but not yet. Draw two more of these sleeves with the lines, and then I will show you how to slash and spread them. Cut out all three sleeves We will be doing puff number one, fullness on the bottom. Take the top, cut along these lines, this line, this line, this line, and this line. Leave a hinge. Now that you have these cut, tape the center piece down. Get your ruler, measure an inch and a half, tape it down. Do the same thing for the other side. I will mark two inches from the side seams. From this point, I will measure an inch and a half down. And with my hip curve, I will connect the points. You can use your French curve to kind of Smooth it out a little bit. I will be drawing the cuff pattern that goes along with this puff sleeve. I'll do two inches by 11 inches. This is a standard size for a bicep, but measure your own bicep and you can make it larger or smaller. I'm drawing the one inch line because it'll be folded here. Add half an inch seam allowance all around. I'll measure the center of the band and also two inches in from the side seams. The reason I'm doing this, putting the notches here, is because you'll connect these to these points and this to the center point. And the grain line will be going this way. I'm going to cut a new sheet of paper 
so I can trace this sleeve and add half an inch seam allowance all around. I'm adding half an inch seam allowance all around. I'm adding in the green line. The sleeve I'm going to cut out and it's done. For the next sleeve, puff number two, it's the same concept but we're adding the fullness to the top of the sleeve instead of the bottom. Leave some fullness at the top, a couple inches. Tape it down here. Start cutting this line, this line, this line, and this line. Do not cut the center line. Tape it here, same slash and spread measurements as I did on the last one, an inch and a half per slice tape it down. Measure an inch and a half from the top of this point of the sleeve cap. You can do more. An inch and a half is just standard. You will take your hip curve and smooth it out. I'm going to take my French curve and just kind of lightly, I don't want to cut off too much. As you can see, I'm cutting off a sixteenth of an inch here just to round it off. You're going to mark a guideline for the facing of the sleeve, an inch and a half high. I'll cut this piece out. We are going to trace this sleeve. Mark the center line. To trace the whole sleeve and add half an inch seam allowance all around. Trace the facing and add seam allowance. I'm adding seam allowance on this side, this side, and this side, but not on the top. Puff sleeve number two is done. For puff sleeve number three, I'll tape this piece here and at the bottom, cut all the way through so I'm not leaving a hinge. You're going to take your ruler, draw a line an inch and a half away. Line it up, tape it down. Do this for all of the slices. Add an inch and a half mark at the bottom and an inch and a half at the top. Mark a two inch point from the side seam Same thing on the other side. We're going to smooth out this line with a combination of rulers.
at this point the sleeve shape is looking really good. I will trace it. I think you're getting the gist here and adding a seam allowance. And we will be doing one more sleeve band that is the exact same as the first sleeve that we did. So this is 11 inches by two inches with half an inch seam allowance all around. So you can just copy this one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all three of the sleeves and the sleeve bands and sleeve facings in muslin fabric. Muslin is pretty much a cheap, kind of cheap, it's not that cheap, but a cheap unbleached cotton to use for samples and prototypes. So I cut out all of the sleeves. This is sleeve number one with the fullness at the bottom. Sleeve number two, the fullness is at the top. And sleeve number three, where the fullness is at the top and the bottom. Start from around here and sew with a hand needle and you're going to leave long strings so you can pull it. The sleeve looks like this. I am going to fold it, sew the half inch seam allowance. After you have your sleeve and you press the seam allowance open, this is the fun part. You're gonna take the strings Pull them, and you can start seeing the puff forming. Do the same at the bottom. My cat is hungry, I have to feed her. This is how the sleeve is starting to look. In this fabric, it's not the prettiest. If you have it in like a gorgeous black cotton eyelet or a silk charmeuse. Something else, it would be really, really pretty. <laughs> so now that we have this, we're going to add the sleeve band. Take the rectangle, fold it like this. Sew a half inch seam allowance. Press the seam open. Here you can see the sleeve band. Sew half an inch, just as a guideline. This will just make it easier when you're attaching the cuff. This is the front of the sleeve match this notch to notch, match the other notch to notch. I'm gonna flip the sleeve inside out. It might be a little bit easier to work with. Right now it looks something like this. The notches help you evenly distribute the fullness. I'm going to continue pinning. You can baste it if you want. I basted the sleeve band to the bottom of the sleeve, I will go ahead and sew all around. I will press the seam allowance down this way. As you can see, that half inch guideline that we did earlier, we're going to fold it. Start pinning the band right underneath this stitching line, like right underneath. I have pinned the sleeve band on and what I'm going to do now is top stitch, like right here, edge stitch, all around. If you want, you can baste the sleeve band on before sewing with the machine, but I'm feeling kind of confident today, so I'm just gonna sew it directly, but keep the pins on. Go ahead and flip the sleeve inside out. Honestly, the top stitching looks great. That's the sleeve, and I need to put this on a bodice. If you're here, still in the video, thank you for watching. Making the bodice is a whole different tutorial, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna continue sewing this. I have the princess seam bodice sewn and I have this sleeve. So I will show you how to attach the sleeve to the bodice. This is the front of my bodice and I will match the notches to this armhole. I'll flip the bodice inside out. I'm going to pull, gather here.
that I have this pinned, I'll go ahead and baste it all around. This is basted all around. I'll just sew it. This is the puff sleeve attached. I also went ahead and hand stitched the other sleeves so you can see them. I'll gather them, sew them at half of an inch, and I'll show you how those look like as well. The way to sew them, this one is exactly sewn the same way as this one. It just doesn't have the fullness at the top. This one, I'll, I can show you how to sew the facing, but the gathering is also the exact same. You just pull it and you get the gathers. can see the shape. Really beautiful. This is puff sleeve one and here's the facing. Take the facing, fold it and sew it at half an inch seam allowance. Press the seam open. Flip this sleeve inside out so the seams are showing. On the top, you will attach right sides to right sides. Sew this at a half an inch seam allowance all around. The facing is sewn. Flip the sleeve inside out. Looks like this. Then you'll pull the facing down. Press the seam allowance down. The seam allowance is pressed down and you're going to stitch on the edge of the facing. This is what the facing looks like stitched. Then fold it and you'll press it. Stitching on that edge just gives it more stability. Go ahead and blind hem it. Here are the final results of the sleeves. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below or you can uh, message me on Instagram, whatever works. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.